welcome. We're gonna uh, we're gonna jump in today and do some hourglass collecting. Let's go and check out our space, shall we? Only be a short stream today. We're only gonna do a little one. Uh, but I think all of our cracked hourglasses are ready. We're gonna have to pick them up. So I have my paper here so I can make a note. I do this every time, because you can't see. So I'll make a note of uh, what it is I'm getting. Do do. Nice. All right, let's do this. So this should be a full run through. Um. I don't know exactly how many spaces there are. I can't tell you. Uh, it'd be good to know how, much, how long it takes as well. So this is good to time it really as well. Once we, uh, once we get in, that is. We finally made it to level 30. I uh, played a couple of games and uh, got leveled up. So yay. I still feel like I'm a long way behind. Running a... Level 40 plus dungeon with five uncommon hourglasses, and I pulled about 40 tokens out. So, pulled about 40 tokens from five uncommon hourglasses. The people that were running five common pulled about 10. Hey, how you doing, guys? Hey, Drobo, how you doing? Hope you're good. Hey, Johnny. If I don't have a lot of time to play, should I sell my armories and forges and just use the time wardens to create and sell hourglasses? Yeah, if you don't have a lot of time to play, I mean, it depends on how much you got your armories and forges for. Hey, Kay, how you doing? Um, I personally think, and I might be wrong, I might be wrong, I personally think that armories and forges are very, very underrated right now. In fact, I've just swept the floor. Um, and picked up probably about 20 or 30 armories and forges today. Um, so that being said, I might be wrong, but they've already said there's going to be... Oh, that's not good. I hope that doesn't count as me going in my metaverse, because if I go in there now and there's no cracked tower grasses, I will cry. I won't. I'll be upset. I won't cry. I'll definitely be upset. Let's see, because I don't, I didn't actually get in there. I don't think uh, it's probably. There you go. All right, so let's try again. So, um, I, I, I'm expecting them to do something to balance the crafting and make it better. I think that if they do that, possibly we could see an increase in value in in armories and forges. I don't know. They just feel crazy at the moment. Like a Mythic is selling for like $100 right now. Also, do you think it's worth to dismantle cracked hourglasses for big time? Or are the Time Wardens better used for crafting hourglasses? That's a really good question. So, to answer that question, it's simply down to data. Like my opinion on that doesn't matter. We just need to look at the facts. So, let's do that. Let's have a look at the facts while we're waiting. So the facts are that you can create an hourglass and that hourglass is going to take you uh, to be able to make it. Let's bring this. Uh, I'm just looking at my sheet here. So, all right. So here we go. So we hold on. Let me get rid of that screen. I want this one. All right. So this to make a common, it's going to cost you. Two and a half dollars, right? That's to make a uh, a common hourglass, yeah? So the cost is going to be two and a half dollars. It's also going to take you 48 hours. How much can you sell that for on the market at the moment? See, that's the other question. What's it selling for? So if we look... Oh, I'm typing. Hourglass... A common hourglass is selling for twelve and a half dollars, roughly. Twelve and a half dollars. Okay, so 
you're making ten dollars profit, but that's gonna take two days. So you're making five. You're making five dollars per day profit per time warden. Yeah. Right now. So with that in mind, I would say that depending on how many spaces you've got, because I think this is what counts, depending on how many spaces you've got, if you've got enough spaces that you can justify having enough cracked hourglasses, glasses, breaking down... And this is just on average. This is not exact. But on average, you're going to be generating, if you've got enough spaces, and you can continuously feed that Time Warden, you're going to be generating around $1 per hour. $1 per hour break dismantling cracked. Yeah? All right, so now I'm in here, so that's good. So let's say that you did a 12-hour day. All right. That means you're going to be making around twelve hours, twelve dollars a day, if you've got enough spaces to justify that, right? Because that means um, you're going to need to break down one every two hours. So that means you're going to need six um, hourglasses to do for for one day. So breaking down, because you're going to be making five dollars a day, making an hourglass. But if you've got enough spaces, you can make six, uh, well, again, it depends, right? It depends on how you're doing this. You're making a dollar an hour. So if you're doing a 12-hour day or logging in every two hours, you, you could make double by breaking down a cracked hourglass. But again, it depends if you've got enough spaces. It depends on a lot of other factors. Now, I'm waiting for my UI to kick in at the moment. Yeah, look, I can see them. I can see them down there. There they are. There they are. It's all good. We're good. We're good. I can see them. They're down there. We'll go and click them in a sec. We're just going to wait for the UI to kick in. What's my leaderboard now? Um, it's a, it's about the same. It's a, it's about 250. My two spaces didn't, cr didn't drop crack for three days, and then it dropped five at a time. That is insane. I haven't seen five. I mean, I've been collecting hourglasses constantly every two days for the last week or so. I've never seen four, I've never seen more than three drop. Never seen more than three. All right, so we're just going to grab these first. Um, there'll be no there'll be no cracked hourglasses here. My PC is having a hard time. Um, I mean, I think possibly. I mean, my. Yeah. All, the, all the RGB's gone off on my PC, which is worrying. <laughs> it's just sitting there like a black box right now. Do, 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 do. I'd be a lot further up the leaderboard if I could break these um, hourglasses down. If I can finish in a top 500, I'll be happy. Am I available tomorrow during the day for our group with Jonah to reckon me? Yeah, man, I should be. Hopefully, I should be around. It really depends. Like, I've struggled to do dungeons. I've not been able to play much because the game's been a bit of a challenge for me. I've got too many cracked hourglasses at the moment, so it's um, it's very difficult because every time I try and go into my menu or my inventory, it, it's kind of like... Argh. I think if you've got enough spaces, and we can sit and work out the maths for you, we can work out how many spaces you need and what level spaces you need to make this work, but if you've got enough, if you've got like five or ten spaces and they're giving you cracked hourglasses, then I would say probably it's worth just dismantling these. Um, I mean, look, that's what I'm doing, right? <laughs> I'm, di I'm, I'm dismantling them. Um, but I don't, I don't have enough time wardens. I, I need like another 30 time wardens, really. 
but I just think that commons at $400 was too attractive for me to not sell. So I, um, I took profits by selling off some Time Wardens at $400, which to de-risk wasn't a bad shout. As long as they drop and I can buy them back, because the intention is always to buy them back. As long as I can do that. But also... Yo, how did you decide to put so much money into this game? Congratulations on your earnings. Thank you, Neil. I appreciate you. Um, I, I put money into a lot of different games. To be honest, most of them didn't do very well at all. Most of them have, have, have done nothing. In fact, I've not really taken profits. This is the first game I've actually taken profits in. The rest of them I, I haven't. Um, so it's hit and miss, right? Win some, you lose some. That good stuff. Uh, right, let's uh, let's check this one out first. So, get my rare. Boom. Nice. All right, so I can get my next rare going now. Do what do you think I should buy? Should I buy one or rent two? Hmm. Really good question. I mean, if you buy it, you own it, so you can sell it, right? If you rent it, then you pay. I, I think the rental market's busted up at the moment. I, I wouldn't personally be, I, I wouldn't be renting at the moment. I just, you can get some good deals, but I think rentals at the moment are just really expensive. Nah, I'm probably not going to play Desolation. That's not to say it's not good or it doesn't. I just, I'm not really interested in the other games that are there. Um, you know. Maybe, but I've, I've got Shrapnel coming up soon as well. Shrapnel, I've got Star Atlas. I've got, um, obviously, this. There's, there's too much already. <laughs> so, all right, let's have a look at this. So, this is this is number 959. It's at level 5. Okay, cool. Um, what's this one? This is number uh, 999. Um, I want to have a quick look. So, just humor me for one second. Uh, I've been looking at some boxes. Alright, let's have a quick look at the Time Wardens. I want to look at Exalteds. Alright, so there is still one there selling for 3250. 3250. Now the question I have to ask myself is do I want to put mine up for sale? There's only three on there for sale. Is someone likely to buy it? If I put this up for sale, I'm putting it up for four thousand dollars. Is it likely to sell for four thousand dollars? Now it is possible it might. Uh oh, my game's crashed. And it's back. That scared me for a minute. So let's um let's leave We'll we'll get rid of the other one. So okay. Do I have I've got See that one's got thirty minutes left. This one here, so that's one two three four all right so i need to go and run a dungeon for half an hour and i need to empty out those three hourglasses and and then i'll make another rare okay so that's i'm going to use this one to make another rare the other one i'm going to leave empty at the moment because i might sell it i might i might sell it i'm going to see if, if the other one goes i'll put this one on the market all right let's go going to take some some time but we're going to get there so there's a rare and an epic now bearing in mind um in fact also because i'm just starting this now let me i'm going to time this as well kind of curious how long this is going to take me so all right we're going to time it as well i want to know i want to know how long this takes me to do so i can also see if i bring the map up there you go you can see on the map where we are Again, it's going to take me a little while to do this, so just uh, ask your questions. I'll answer them. I, I have nothing else to do right now. Uh, were you, was I a WoW player? No, I never played World of Warcraft. I'm a Dota 2 player, so which is a World of Warcraft mod, but it's not the same. So no, I'm not a um, I'm not a WoW player. Invest in your PC for a better experience, my friend. My PC costs like ten grand. Um, I've got a good PC. Um, my PC is definitely not the problem right now. I would say it's more on the uh, the server side of things. 
from the game's perspective. Um, one more epic, one more rare. Uh, what space should I buy for epic? I, I kind of think mythic, mythic and above, mythic space. You're gonna find the best drops from. Mythic large, mythic medium, if you can, if you can, those are gonna give you the best, the best drops. But then you've got to think about, I don't know how much they are selling for right now. See, these are all exalted spaces at the moment. But even exalted can give me an uncommon there, see? Um, but yeah, look. So exalted small is picking me up like a an epic and a rare, pretty much. So I would say I missed one. I, I didn't even see that. I literally just walked straight past one. Oh, wow. I walked past two. What? Was that a common? That's an epic. An epic and two uncommon? Really? Okay. Wow. Didn't even see them there. This um this server lags a bit bit dodgy. Hold on, did I miss another one there? What the hell? What's wrong with me? Missed another rare. Alright. What's the most important thing for new players to start grinding out right now? Honestly, my opinion, if you're a new player, it's going to be really difficult for you because the game's not that enjoyable because of the lag. But as a new player, what you really need to do more than anything is level up your pocket watch. And that doesn't actually cost any money. So what I would be doing as a new player is I would be learning the dungeons. I would be leveling up your experience, getting yourself a decent pocket watch. Because when you start grinding your prestige dungeons you want to be able to clear them efficiently and the only way you can be efficient is when you're good at the game so you need to get good at the game so i would say as a new player my best advice right now is to focus on the free to play mod uh, model not on the pay to earn and i would be focusing on getting started simply by leveling up my character and learning the dungeons that would be the most important thing after that i would probably be finding ivory guild if i don't have much money or if i've got some money i would be looking at the market and trying to find a good entry i think you can pick up some space right now very very cheap i think picking up um and an epic space for like 70 or 80 dollars is really cheap so i would probably do that i don't think you need to go top tier like you don't need to be going exalted and things like that um, but i think right now you'd be able to pick up yourself a an epic forge an epic space and an epic armory for a few hundred dollars and i would just buy that and hold it for now my um, again this is just what i would do and I would be waiting for the Time Warden to come down into a range that's more respectable. I don't think renting is a good idea at the moment. You can get some good rents, but Time Wardens pretty much... I wouldn't rent a Time Warden for like $150, which is like the floor for them at the moment. Just wouldn't do that. Not when they were selling last week for like $250, it's like not worth it. Just wait. They'll come back down. What goes up must come down. But even renting spaces, I mean, you can you can buy it. I mean, if you can rent a space and it's cheap enough, then yeah. You can speak to some of these big guilds, rent some space off them, and then collect the hourglasses. Break them down and then split the profit. That's possible. You know, if they're just... Oh, I'll take that look. One, two, three. Do love that. Alright, there's another uncommon, another rare, another epic. Alright, so we're about five minutes in so far. We're nearly at the end of the first line, which is pretty cool. Epic. Uncommon and a rare. Again, I am noting these down because I, I track everything. I track the stats from the dungeons that I do, the hourglasses that I collect. Everything goes into my spreadsheet. 
it's no different to running a business. When I run a business, I want to know what my forecasts are, I want to know what my profit and losses, I want to know what my margins are. Need to know what I'm spending, where I'm spending it. I treat this like a business. If you was on the stream the other day, I was talking to Wow D Shark, who, those of you that don't know, is a really, really nice guy, really good guy. Very, very clever, um, analytical person. And he's doing a challenge at the moment. He's taken $5,000 and he is showing you on stream in real time how he can turn that $5,000 into a profit. So it really, really is worth going and checking him out on Twitch. It's Wow D Shark on Twitch. And I think it's a really good um, a good way to teach people about about business. Because there's, there's business models here. Like it doesn't have to be playing the game. You can you can make a business out of trading the market. You can make a business out of there's arbitrage opportunities. There's like there's different things that you can do to make money in this game. You don't just have to grind dungeons. It's just finding those opportunities, and those opportunities are out there. All right, so now we're into the legendary spaces. So now we've gone from... So I've done these in rarities, okay? So we've gone from the exotics through the mythics, and now we're going into the legendary spaces. So now we're starting to see a lot more of the uncommons. In fact, I think we've probably got most of the rares and most of the epics already. They're done. So now we're going to see a lot more of these commons and uncommons. Did I missed one? Did I really? I'm I'm terrible. I'm getting old. Look at that, it's hiding back there. I didn't see that. Have to keep an eye on that screen, right? I'm gonna zoom in so that I can uh, see him a bit better. There we go. Alright, let's go. Hi by the way, if you're watching, hope you're good, hope you're well. There's another uncommon. Every two days I've got to do this. I feel like I'm just running the corridors, right? Wouldn't mind doing this in VR. That'd be pretty cool. I actually think I prefer these rooms. I don't necessarily like the columns. I, I prefer the rooms that are open plan like this. This is a legendary large, by the way. Legendary large. This is nice. This is a good size room. You could have guild meetings in here. You know, this is a this is a good size room. Also, think about the doors you've got going off of it. I've got like on this one, I'm quite blessed. I've got five doors coming off of this. So a legendary large with five doors. If you're gonna buy a space, um, check the wiki first. My advice: check the wiki first. Find out the maximum number of doors that you can get because different space. I could get a legendary large with four doors or I can get a legendary large with five doors. The more doors, the better. It's all about how many doors you've got. So a legendary large with five doors should be worth more, but most people don't check that. So you should really check that. And you should be looking to get the most amount of doors that you can. And if you, if you go to buy on the marketplace and you look at the image of the... Uh, uh, like the preview it actually shows you how many doors it's got before you buy so yeah recommend doing that so look epics they can spawn in a legendary um the commons uh sorry uncommons are definitely more common <laughs> uncommons are more common um, but you can still pick up rares and occasionally an epic oh lagging out a bit there so Chill. That's a rare and an uncommon. Do, 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 do. Yeah, it's, it's getting really, like, the lag is getting really, really bad. I, I can't move properly. So, what you're seeing on the screen, the lag, is the server lag. It's not my lag. It's um, I'm seeing it as well. It's not the stream, it's nothing, it's just, it's a server. Yeah, I'm seeing the same problems.
Can't. There we go. <laughs> it's just come back. Nope. All right, well, we'll just take it slow. We'll walk. Maybe running's not good. There's another rat. This is always the worry, right? This is I, this gives me anxiety. I'm not going to lie to you. This gives me anxiety because I'm like, oh my god, if I get kicked out, I'm going to lose all of these glasses. Hey, can you give me a clue on how different are cracked ones from the ones you get from the Time Wardens? Yeah, absolutely. So, an epic cracked is the same as a common that you get from the Time Warden. An epic cracked. Can you see the luck? If I hover over this, look, the big time luck rate, the big time luck rate on a common, an uncommon, and a rare is all pretty much the same. It's all pretty much the same. So look, on a common, the luck rate is 15. Luck rate is 15. On an uncommon, it's 17.25. 17.25, right? A rare, if I can find a rare. Oh. One sec. It's getting, the lag is getting really, really bad now. I'm struggling to, to move around. Um, I'm wondering if I maybe could have built this differently. Maybe it's trying to render too many spaces at once. I don't know. So yeah, look, the, the luck... The luck on a common is 15 there, right? Hey, hey, no worries. 4am? Oh, I don't blame you, mate. Don't blame you. But the, the luck rating on the uncom on the epic is 92. So 92. So that's a huge difference from like the 15, 17 and a half to 92. So you really, really want to be looking at the epics. Anything below epic is just right now, right now, it's just not worth running. That might change in the future. They may update it. It may change. Um, but for now, anything under epic, just not worth running. A cracked epic is the same as a normal common. Same luck. And it's crashed again. So it's, uh, well, not crashed, but... And you can get epics. You don't get as many, so you don't really get that many in the legendary space. You might get a couple, but you're pretty much going to get them mythic and above. Mythic and exalted. I think I'm rendering too much here, so... Let's try and turn that off and see if that makes a difference. Maybe the map was the problem? I don't know. I think maybe these... Maybe doing these lines like this is a mistake. Because it's rendering like too many... It's trying to bring too many spaces in together. But then sometimes, look, like this room, there's nothing in here. So if you have a space... There's no, there's no guarantee that it's going to spawn. There's like a percentage. Um, I think it's like a, a small rare has a 5% chance and an exotic, exalted rare, uh, exalt, sorry, a small, a small rare has like a 5% chance and a small exalted has like a 25% chance, something like that. But I, I'll be honest. I think that, I think the drop rates right now are very high. They will probably change that in the future because I get quite a lot. It feels like I do anyway. Not every space, but I would say most spaces. It feels like most spaces I go into, there's a, there's something that's dropping in there. I, I can't move at the moment. I'm stuck. I'm very concerned about the ability to be able to move through my space at the moment this is it's not the stream the stream is not lagging the stream look i'm not lagging i'm not lagging it's not it's not the stream the the, the feed the quality the bit rate the drop frames i'm checking it all the stream's great it's the game 
the game is laggy. And you can tell that because I'm still talking normally and yet I'm frozen on the stream. So even though I'm still moving and you can see me moving and everything's okay, my character's frozen. So yeah, it's definitely not the stream. It, this, is, this is how the game is for me to play. This is what it's like for me to play the game. So I know there's no such thing as a whale's problems, but the more space you've got, the harder it gets. This is this is how difficult it is for me to collect these glasses. Challenging, right? What what do I do? How do I fix this? <laughs> hmm. Difficult. Our PC is nice and cool. <sighs> I don't know, guys. Yeah. Oh, it does say encoding overloaded. Consider turning down video settings or using a faster encoding preset. So it's saying that my encoding is overloaded. So maybe there is a lag on the stream as well. Whoa, okay, it's just woken up. Um. Okay. I mean, that whole time I was frozen, so it's maybe there is a problem it says there's no drop frames but it does say encoding is overloaded maybe it's trying to render the game and it's struggling I don't know maybe it's killing my resources maybe the game's killing my resources and I shouldn't be streaming at the same time as trying to do this hmm I might I might end up cutting the stream, guys, just to see if I can get through this and do this. I'd love to stay and talk to you, but obviously I really want to... I don't want to be sitting here all night trying to get into the next room. Let me, I'm going to... Uh, I'll see if it makes a difference, all right? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call the stream there. I'm sorry. I'm going to see if it improves the performance. And um, we'll, we'll try and come back and do it again tomorrow, okay? Um, but I, I want to try and pick up these hourglasses. I'd love to just stay and chat.